You gotta know your love language. I read a book. Some guy wrote a book, Dr. Gary Chapman wrote a book called Five Love Languages. According to Dr. Gary Chapman, there are five languages of love between a man and wife. Tammy and I read that book twice in one week because we didn't see our love language in there. <laughs> yeah, apparently bitterness, sarcasm, not part of Dr. Gary Chapman's love life. That's, that's all I noticed. My parents had their own love language. 57 years they were married before my mother passed away. That last Christmas we knew would be mom's last Christmas, so it was a special one. We knew this would be it. So anyway, we were all sitting around watching television, the movies, Wonderful Life, those Christmas movies. My mom's doing her crochet, my dad's in his chair, and he starts serenading my mother in their love language. 57 years of marriage. <laughs> My mother didn't miss a beat. She didn't even say anything. She puts her crochet down, she goes into the kitchen, comes back 20 minutes later with two hot dogs and a soda pop for her husband. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> so that night I'm laying in the fajita with Tammy. <laughs> and I'm talking, I said, did you see that today? She goes, what, my parents, did you see that whole thing? She goes, I did. And I go, do you think we'll ever get there, you and me on that level? Tammy says, shoot me if we do. <laughs> you start hocking hairballs at me like that, it's over. <laughs> that was one of the most vile, disgusting things I've ever witnessed in my life. I almost chucked my dinner all over the kid's head. <laughs> wow, I thought it was beautiful. <laughs> I married a tough one. My, uh, Tammy's a tough, tough woman. First thing she did when we got married was take my spine away from me. <laughs> she did. She keeps it in her purse. <laughs> it's handy in case I have to do something manly. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. I heard a noise. Here's your spine. Go down and see what it was. <laughs> I hate that wake-up call. She hears a noise. I gotta go down and see what it is. Well, if you were sleeping, you wouldn't have heard it. So go back to sleep, you won't hear the next one. Trust me, he's trying to be as quiet as he can. He'll probably apologize for waking us up. She should go down there. If he tracked mud on her new hardwood floor, she'd rip his thyroid out. She's got a temper. I mean a temper. I'm not talking irritability and sarcasm because that's what attracted me to her. <laughs> Here's an example. We were eating breakfast one morning. One morning, just sitting at the breakfast, minding my own business, whistling. That's the kind of good mood I was in, whistling. Could explain why I didn't hear her ticking on the other side of the table. <laughs> I just wanted a butter waffle. You know what I'm talking about, man? You just want a butter waffle. No family business, no talk, no nothing. Butter, a waffle. So I said, sweetheart, could you pass me the butter knife? <laughs> of course, now I'm thinking, <laughs> something must be bothering Buttercup. <laughs> so I ask, something on your mind? She says, I'm fat. There's not a man in this room knows you can't respond to that. There's <laughs> A twitch of the eye will get you killed at this point. <laughs> if you're a newlywed, trust me, your wife ever says she's fat, you become mannequin man. <laughs> you don't move a muscle. <laughs> you certainly don't say anything. Just let her finish her thought, take the knife out of the wall, butter the waffle. <laughs> then she says we're joining a health club. Did you hear what I said? I think I heard you say, you're fat and we're joining a health club. <laughs> that was the wrong answer. <laughs> Spoon. <laughs> of course we joined a health club. And if there are two people on this planet that should have never purchased a health club membership, it is Tammy and I. Trust me, I haven't moved with any purpose since I won the race at conception. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to brag, but I outran about four billion that morning and I'm <laughs> still exhausted. <laughs> We're lazy people. We're not ashamed of it. We've actually woken our children up to get the remote control for the television. 
We've had an exercise bike in our bedroom for 10 years. It's got about a mile and a half on it. And most of that was put on by the grandkids sitting on the floor just spinning the pedals. She once called me from the driveway to get her purse. Hello, get my purse. Where you at? I'm in the driveway. I'm going to the health club and I need my ID. How lazy are you? Hey, go get your mother's purse and bring it to her, will you? Hey, did you know that Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? You can download it right now to watch, save, and share clips, and you can watch my entire comedy special right on your phone. How cool is that?